Recent rain flooded the inside of Oroville State Theater on Myers Street. Action News Now reporter Camille Acevedo is there live. So Camille, what does it look like right now? Well, Alan, it is all dried up now, but yesterday, let me tell you about yesterday. Yesterday, the drains right behind me were so clogged up with water that this entire parking lot was filled with water, that even water was going through the doors here to this theater. The weather came on really suddenly, and there was a really heavy uh, rainstorm that hit all of a sudden. You could, I had gone to town, and you could barely see when you were driving. And when I came back to the theaters, when I noticed that the lake was starting to fill up, so... A historical gem to the community here in Oroville flooded last night. These are pictures of what the flooding looked like outside of the theater parking lot yesterday. Executive Director for the Oroville State Theater, Cindy Dana Luke, noticed the water flooding the auditorium and orchestra pit. She showed me how it all happened so fast. So the water was probably a couple of inches up on the door, but it was seeping under the doors. And then this actually is a ramp down to the auditorium. So as it was working its way through, it was continuing to fill up down there. In the nine years Dana Luke has worked here, she has never seen it flood like this. So it was really scary because, you know, had it um, filled up, um, we could have had a lot more damage. The theater right behind me was built in 1928 and it has gone through several restorations since and because of the value it holds to the community here in Oroville, one local business stepped up to make sure that the water would not cause damage to this theater. All cleaned carpets owner and city council member Sean Weber brought his truck and supplies to help vacuum the water out. I mean, how important is it to, you know, preserve all of um, the historic places here in Oroville and make sure that if there is any damage to act fast on it. Top priority, 100%, because mm -hmm. our downtown businesses and those buildings are a huge asset to our community, so we need to preserve them and protect them at all cost. So mm -hmm. it, it meant a lot to get it done, not have damage. Mm -hmm. Both Weber and Dana Luke tell me that Public Works was also out here vacuuming the drains to make sure all the water um, in this parking lot would be sucked out. Live in Oroville, I'm Camille Acevedo for Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Well, Camille, more rain obviously is on the way. How do the uh, drains stand right now as far as their ability to handle more? Well, Alan, that's a great question. The drains right now were unclogged. There's no water piling up here, but um, the city is going to come back and check on to make sure that um, the, re the drains remain unclogged. All right. Thanks, Camille. And Dana Luke did tell us that the water caused minimal damage and was cleaned up fairly quickly.